What's going on everybody? It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap, and today we're feeling webtastic. We're gonna do some uh, some fun web slinging shenanigans using my move deck because I have the new uh, you have the new spider versus card ghost spider going on. So let's see. Let's see how these matches go. Uh, I don't remember any of them. I don't know what happens in any of it because I'm ADRing this uh, after the fact. So see okay Electra I feel like Electra doesn't get as much credit as she should she's a pretty good card Ooh, Aunt Maze let's go all right I'm putting Silk down I feel like Silk is pr a pretty good wild card like you never really know what Silk's gonna do uh, like where she gonna go so it's 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 like both scary and I got like a fun clutch situation all right Let's see. Okay, you played uh, Sunspot in Ant Maze after Haw Hawkeye was played. I played Vulture, so I can get some buffage and moveage. So now, ooh, Shuri's Lab. Okay, let's take Beast out of here, and let's bring Vulture back in so we can double up. All right, he's playing Nightcrawler. Okay, looks like he's running with uh, a low cost deck. Yeah, there's Angela. Okay, so now Silk is in Shuri's lab. So now we're gonna do this. I have, I have a plan, just let me cook, let me cook. I got this. First, ah, first. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Bishop going on along with Iceman. And then he's gonna freeze up uh, Taskmaster. Not ideal, but we'll work with it. Okay, Iron Fist into Dagger. Dagger is going to get pumped up from the other cards across. I play Vulture and then Silk swings away. So now I have more space to play something in Tree's Lab later. But it's final turn, but I got it. I got Taskmaster, and since the last card I played was Vulture, we get a nice hefty 32. All right, and oh, America Chavez. All right, not a bad swing for you guys, but look. Honestly, Taskmaster, if you can play Taskmaster with like uh, a Human Torch or like a buff card like that, you can you can win pretty easily. Um, you, you, get, you get like nice, easy buffs there. We're going against Tour. Objective Ridicule. All right. Ooh, once again, Aunt Maze coming to play. Got nothing to play, so great. All right. Avengers Compound. Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to play... Uh, I don't have any cards to play for Aunt Mays yet. I like putting Craven down with Silk because because Sil since Silk just kind of flies all over the place, Craven will just eventually get a buff. I'm gonna put Silk over in DC, right over there. Okay, he's using it to buff up Kitty Pride. Not a bad move at all. Let's see. What do I get though? Okay, I'm gonna put Cloak down, and now I got Miles because something was moved. So now. Cloak is down, and Silk swings over into where Craven's at, buffing him up. And there's Miles, and she swings back. All right, Kitty Pride, and there's Maria Hill. I love that Maria. Oh god, there's like a, a car backing up somewhere. Okay, all right, we're good. <laughs> the car is gone. I'm good, just in time. Now I can I can see where my plays are. All right, so I'm gonna move Miles over. And I have Doctor Strange, so I'm gonna pull back both Miles and Silk over to Avengers Compound. All right, and then Silk swings over to Aunt Maze. All right, let's see what he's doing. Iron Fist with Kitty Pride, so punches him over. And then we have Agent Coulson. All right, looks like we're in the last turn. And I don't have any card that I played in Aunt Maze yet. So we're just gonna go with this. A simple uh, one-two step, if you will. Okay, firstly, Iron Fist. I have Vulture. I'm gonna punch Vulture over to the side. And then I have Ghost Spider, gonna pull Vulture back. So a nice double buffage, pretty good. Okay, Iron Man. I am. Iron all right, nice. Over, I won all locations. Pretty good. Can't complain. A nice 
a nice, easy, solid win. Thank you much, GG Next. All right. Lamdula, Lamdalu. Did I help us say that right? I'm not sure, my apologies. All right, Washington DC. No cards, I have abilities. I don't have anything on my deck like that, so. Moving on. Okay, we got Atlantis. Let's see. Cra oh, good, I have Human Torch. I'm gonna put Craven down first. Let's start with a setup. He's got a Lizardo. So very nice for him. All right, the vault. Let's see if we could we make some maneuvers here. Okay, he's playing Bishop. I'm gonna put Human Torch. So the play here is first I'm gonna buff up Craven and Human Torch by pulling him over with Doctor Strange. He's playing Mysterio and Nova for some easy Bishop buffage. I'm gonna pull these two over. It helps because they're at the same attack. So Craven gets a buff and Human Torch gets a buff. Nice, easy. Now, turn five, I'm going to put Beast down and then I'm gonna put Silk down in the vault. Now I don't think I'm gonna win the vault. I think I'm, I'm out of there, but I just have, a, it just helps me to like spread my power a little bit. Beast is bringing back everybody. And now that the Volt is locked down, it's up to me to win in the other two locations. I think I have some strategies <laughs> that'll work. Now watch, just trust the process, let me cook. Okay, first you're doing Necrotia, okay. Enchantress is gonna, ooh, negate Lizard's ability, very good. And then Hit Monkey, okay. All right, it literally comes down. It's gonna be very close, actually. All right, so Craven's out. Iron Fist punches Human Torch over. Gets doubled. Ghost Spider pulls Human Torch back, and he Craven's buffed up, and he doubles over to 14. Doctor Strange pulling Human Torch back brings him up to 32. Okay, no! Oh, I lost the gamble. I didn't know where he put Mysterio, but he put him over in the middle. If he was anywhere else, I would have won. But good job, GG's.